let's have a, a, a quick conclusion here. Uh, the double pound sign here, this is uh, represent to the global temporary table. And uh, most of time we don't use it. You know, uh, it's it's hard to have a situation you have to use the global tempo, uh, temporary table. And uh, I search online and a lot of article, a lot of uh, people, you know, it's just hard to come out a scenario or situation to use a, a global temporary table. But uh, uh, but uh, most of the time you will choose between the local temporary table and the uh, uh, table variable. Okay. But it uh, you will choose between these two in your store procedure. Uh, it depends on the performance. Depends on you know you will do some you know loading tests. Uh, there are quick a uh, small uh, guideline you know if your data set is very small it's quite small you can direct you can use a uh, uh, you know the table variable the performance will be better because this is uh, in memory and uh, you won't have a, uh, any disk IO of course uh, you know the memory the, the page in page out uh, is another story then if you need to use index on your temporary table or you have to use a uh, local temporary table because the table variable won't allow you to create index on it okay uh, so the conclusion is in most of the situation local temporary table makes more sense okay then the next thing is uh This this uh this point is kind of like unrelated, but uh, uh in the store procedure try to avoid to use cursor because the cursor the performance is very very bad, and uh, of course you can have some way to use temp uh local temporary table to 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 replace the cursor. There is there is some uh, some other way you can use to 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 replace the cursor if you want to really want to use this functionality okay then there is a, another situation you want to use temporary table in your store procedure if you have very very large table for example two three tables you want to do a join and you have of course you will have some condition for this uh, uh for these tables for example you want to uh, do a join for these three large table and uh, you want to have some where class for example you want to have some uh, criteria that is in a certain time period or some condition uh, you can you can try to use temporary table to select the result set uh, for each of three large tables then do join on these uh, three temporary tables the, per the performance could be better I will say could be because uh, it depends on uh, your environment you have to do some test and uh, do some you know uh, uh, stay, uh, some states some uh, performance uh, test then you will know which one is better you want to do a join uh, directly or you want to you know select the subset of the large table into a temporary table maybe create index on each of them then do a join it all depends on the situation your hardware your database setting something like that okay then the next uh, 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 guideline is try not to use select into statement to create a temporary table okay directly I mean directly so till here any questions okay then i have some example here okay this example is our uh unifirst uh, uh report example uh in this report what we want to have is uh uh, uh, uh we have pieces and the hours then you can see there are two different kind of actually these data are, are come uh, come from the same table 
but uh, there are two different periods. This is months. This part is months, and uh, this part is uh, year to date. That means, uh, for example, if this uh, t uh, this month is uh, April, then this this uh, data is a summary of uh, uh, April's uh, uh, data. Then this data is uh, start from January to April, the end of April, uh, uh, the summary of, of the uh, year to date data. So uh, for this kind of uh, data, we want to, because for report, we want to, you know, have a SQL statement and select out and throw into the report uh, file, then the report file can directly display it. That will be the best, best situation. So what we can do is we can use temporary table to accomplish this. Okay, uh, this is the example. Okay, basically, here in this store procedure, we create a temporary table here. Then we create exactly the you know the each column, define the schema as a column on our uh, report. Okay, then the first uh, uh, insert we try to retrieve um, the initial this uh, region's uh, information, the location's information, then works, works area code, of course. Then what, what, we, what, what we do is, uh, what we did here is uh, we just do a summation in this period, in this month's period, okay? Then we leave, out, leave the zero for these two column, the, the uh, year to date column, okay? Then the next two SQL statement, we use update, then we, the, we calculate the year to date uh, summary, and uh, we update these two column. Then we, after these two update, we will have a complete, you know, data set for this report. So we directly, select from this temporary table, then you can have all of your data ready for your report, just like this one. Okay. This is one example uh, you can use temporary table. Okay, the temporary table can can you know can create whatever you want, then you put the data in there, then you select from there. And you don't have to you know manipulate your data in the report file or in your uh, uh, some other code. You can manipulate your data directly in the database. The performance will be better. Okay. Then, of course, you can have some other way. You don't have to use temporary table actually. The performance <coughs> may be better. And uh, there is uh, another SQL statement you can look, uh, you can see here. Basically, I create a big SQL statement here. Then I use a uh, case. I use uh, I put everything together into one SQL statement, and uh, I select the day range. the The day range is uh, the start date of the year, then the end date of you know maybe today. Then I use case to to uh, filter out if the data is between you know is in this month. Then I I calculate, you know, I do a summation on, uh, for this column, uh, for uh, this month's uh, data, okay? Then you don't have to use temporary table, okay? So there are different ways you can uh, prepare your data in the, in the database in, in your SQL, uh, in your store procedure. It all depends on um, the performance, okay?